What is unusual by, from our point of view is, of course, that this is part of the constitution of human nature as ordained by God, which means that it's a very different, perhaps, from the Christian portrait. So the result of this in terms of moving on, if you like, to the issue of sin and salvation and how human beings are conceptualized in the Quranic anthropology is that there is actually no such thing as salvation because we are not being saved from sin. More precisely, we're not being delivered from sin. Sin is simply an empirical reality and God has the ability to forgive it without any complex mechanism. So human beings sin, then they take a shower and do two prayer cycles and they repent and that's the end of the matter. So it has no ontological reality. It's not something that requires <clears throat> a complex machinery of redemption or atonement as I'm sure those of you who've read Paul's epistles see the agony and the agonizing theological detail he gives about how this machinery is operated. Now, I'm not saying, of course, this is untrue. I'm saying it's a, simply a more complex uh, view of th looking at things. And part of the reason for that is that there is such a thing as anthropology, uh, a Quranic anthropology, which I've just outlined, but there's actually no such thing as Quranic theology because the Quran has no interest in theology. It comes as a bit of a shock to Christian audiences, uh, possibly some Jewish audiences too, because you're so inured to the idea of studying God. But it's presumptuous, I think. Um, how can we study God? All we know of God, presumably, is what he reveals of his will to us. Now, Christians would say, yes, but there's a bit more than that because we have the image, the, the moral perfection of the life of God himself as lived out in Christ in the Incarnation. And it's a perfectly valid and uh, consistent alternative view. But I'm saying that we can't uncritically use words like theology in a religion that is actually more interested in the revelation of God's will and the legal consequences of that, how to live your life in a certain way. So not to be polemical, but just to point out that uh, the categories, if you like, of uh, <clears throat> thinking that Muslims have are radically different from that.